Hey, this is Blake's Nature Love. I'm so glad you're here today. I bought some pawpaws from Earthy Delights. And I bought a pound of them, and I've been eating on them every few days. And I put them in the refrigerator to make them last longer. So I got a lot more than what I'm showing you right now. I'm doing this on my bed just for the moment. Let's cut this one up. This is the biggest one I have. <clears throat> and then we have some smaller ones. So some of these pawpaws taste like bananas and mangoes. Some taste just like bananas. And then some have the strong pawpaw flavor. I believe some of these are mixed cultivars and then some are just decent ones from the wild that, they're, that they grew. I'm just going by what the flavors are. Uh, they ripen really quick so when you get them in or if you get them from the wild you need to put them in the refrigerator it'll make them last for like another week we have another big one here let's go and open this one real quick so i'm trying to split up the seeds the ones that don't taste the best they still taste good but i've when you have really good pawpaws you'll know what i'm talking about when you have very su superior flavors, you want to try to grow them out. Maybe you might get something that even tastes better or tastes similar. The ones that taste alright, I'm just going to do them as a rootstock and graft them. That didn't work out like I wanted to. See, that's all custardy looking. I can turn it around. I want to do a little video because I uh, didn't want to miss out and not show everybody this. I love some pawpaws. So if you ever want to get some, go online. And you can find different people around the end of August and September. Depending on the location, everybody's pawpaws are ripening in different areas. Depending on the, the place of uh, growing the pawpaw. This one's creamy. This one has like a sweet banana. Very banana flavor. I like this one. Got a nice softness to it. The skin's a little astringent. And I've had some pawpaws where the, even the, the fruit tastes astringent. Wow. This one, I'll keep the seeds for growing out. And I'll just say it tastes similar to banana. Now, you don't know what it was mixed with. The pollination. But I'm going to still try. Because <clears throat> I got lots of ones that I've ate that have a lot of seeds in them. And they still taste good. And then the ones that didn't taste the best, I just kept the seeds. And we're going to do rootstocks with them, grow them out, then I can graft them. And then graft ones that taste good on it. I and mean, you might be surprised the ones that you did from the rootstocks could actually turn out to be good because they got cross pollinated with a, a tasty one. All right, enough talking. Let's do some more trying. Look at that. I just can't get over it. It's beautiful. The smell, like the smell of pawpaw, it's like fruity, like a mango and a banana. Um, these right now are, are like smelling more like a fruity banana. I had one that tasted just like a, a mango mix. Now they have many different varieties that are like, they're really large fruit with less seeds in it. But I don't mind the seeds. Let's get a big one. Suck on the seed. Mmm. And you can get good deals on these, like, I'm impressed. This one came from Michigan. Earthy Deluxe. Try to clean the seeds up. I'll put these in the section of the good ones will grow out. Mmm. So good. Pawpaws are the only temperate of their related species of the nonas. Now they're more of a far off cousin. 
They are related to them. They're not graph. They can't graph together. We'll let Chiramoya, Sarasop, Relinia, Sugar Apple, and many more. They're all related. But the pawpaw is the only super cold hardiest one that there is that lives in North America. There's different types of pawpaws. That's the triloba. The one they usually eat the fruits of. That has bigger fruits and a bigger flower. And there's also a papa, the slim leaf papa. It makes actual flowers that are pollinated by bees and so on. Pawpaws make flowers that are pollinated by beetles and flies. So more pollination, you just stick some stuff around it that's that's old and decaying and bring in them insects and you'll have lots of fruits that year. Or hand pollinate them if you have time. Mm -mm. And I believe if I'm correct I know they have a host butterfly called the zebra swallowtail I believe that's what it's called so you should grow your pawpaw oh you saw that I caught that mmm wow you may be wondering why I'm eating on the bed just want to and it's quiet in here. Let's get this seed. Mm. Few downfalls about pawpaws. They're very susceptible to the ambrosial beetle. Like really bad. And uh, that's the only really pest that I have experienced that will kill your whole tree really quick. A fungus that they introduce to feed their young just kills the tree. So you're gonna have to spray it or put it in some type of net house that keeps some beetles out. And I'm just I'm I'm working with what I have. I'm trying to do it natural as possible, but I don't want my pawpaws to keep dying that they get big enough and then they they have the beetles attack them. I know the beetles, they don't know any better. They're really not supposed to be here. The one that introduces the bacteria. That's the only thing. When your pawpaws are young <clears throat> and they're babies, you can grow them in like a, a shade cloth or some type of like screen net around it. When it gets about five foot to six foot, you can start taking that shade cloth off slowly. It would be as if it was growing in the woods, because when they're young, they like shade. And when you get them out in the open in the sun, so in the woods, some trees would fall down, and then now that pawpaw has the full sun, they don't grow faster. I start making fruit, but I've seen. I see them in full on shade still make fruit so it just takes longer to get to that point or partial shade's not bad <clears throat> that one video growing them under live oaks they still got enough sun but also they got plenty of, plenty of shade to not get burnt just grow you some pawpaws you, there's nothing you're gonna mess up just to learn about it just keep trying to do it you know that you'll get better at it pawpaws are wonderful fruit trees they've been cultivated for a very long time mmm probably gonna have pawpaw on my face get a napkin I like this one Real soothing flavor. Oh, when I had it in the refrigerator, the whole fridge was smelling like pawpaws. <laughs> really good. I really want to try this big one. 
And then some of the hot holes that were really ripe, their flavor changes like a strong, like a nona flavor. They would be good for like baking. All of this, to be honest, would be good. I try to clean off the, the pulp as best as possible. Let's get this one. All right, I'll get back with you. Let me finish this up. All right, I'm back. Let's go ahead and open this one up. So like I said, this was the biggest one that was sent to me. Now I've seen them like this big. Down the road, I want to get these name varieties growing. I don't know. I just really, I really love Paul Pauls. Just knowing that it's from North America, that the Native Americans cherish this fruit. Let's open this one up. I love the Nonas, the different flavors they give. If I could get this one open better, I want about to open it where it. I think I can get this one better. I'm hoping this one's a good one. I kind of wait a little long on this one. Ooh, still a nice one. This is a really nice one. Let's start with this one. Give it a little flavor. Taste the flavor. I say give it a little flavor. It don't need that. <laughs> this one tastes different. Hold on. The other one tasted more like a banana. This one's good. Sweet. Seeds are bigger. These have seeds that are more round and long, but thicker. I'll keep this one separate. The flavor, I'm not pinpointing it. Hang on. And it's neat how the fruits, they form the seeds different in size and shape. Let's try some more of it. I love it though. So I did, we already cleaned that one, ate it, cleaned the seeds as best I could. This is the one I just had. Let me see how big its seeds are. They're darker. This one tasted like a banana. Let's try this one. Get a big spoonful of it. <clears throat> it's good. I wanted to show you these other two before I go. <clears throat> these have, as you can see, it looks like a looks like a peanut. These other ones didn't have a strong like curvage in it. This one has that as well, a little bit. I may just eat this. I don't know, I'm probably gonna eat it right now because they're starting to go bad. This one's still good, it's not at all bruised, but this one has a bruise right in here. I wanted to show you this real quick. I think I'll just open it and show you. And this one really needs to be ate too. Let's cut into this. Let's try to find the middle part. It's like it's got a burn spot on it. 
cut into this little baby. Let's see what's inside. Give it a little twist. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's give it a little twist. Mmm. That one smells good. Let's try it real quick before I go. Give it a little try. Hope this is a good one. Wow. That is sweet, creamy. Maybe there's something to the ones that have the curve in it, the big round, few round balls in it. What's the good word for it? Not balls. Curvage on it. A lot of flavor. Wow. I'm going to call it wow, Papa. <laughs> Oh, all right, catch you later.